Well, hello. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well and blessed in the Lord. What do we do as Christians? Do we... I just... Um, I was thinking about this. We, we know that we're not perfect. We know that we are sinners saved by grace and confess that we said or did the wrong thing. And we ask God to forgive us. And we continue to be under His grace. Acts 15.11 says, But we will believe that through the grace of the Lord, Jesus Christ, we shall be saved, even as they. Ephesians 2.5 Even when we were dead in sins, our former selves, before we knew the grace of God, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved. Ephesians 2.8 says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is a gift of God. So nothing I do or say, nothing... No amount of good works that I do, it's by grace that I'm saved. Because my flesh is sinful. And to admit that I'm a sinner is part of receiving God's grace. Without admitting that, that you have sin and that you're a sinner... Anything that you do or say that's against the will of God is sinning against the Lord. But by grace we are saved through faith, and that not of ourselves, it is the gift of God. Praise the Lord for that. Praise the Lord that we don't have to work for our salvation. Have faith that we are saved. If you have faith that you are saved, the grace of God in you will convict you when you do something wrong. If you're still practicing sin, if you're still knowingly doing the lusts of the flesh, for instance, 1 Corinthians 6, 9 says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, idolaters nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. 1 Corinthians in 1550 says now this I say brethren that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God neither doth corruption inherit incorruption Galatians 521 says envyings murders drunkenness revelings and such like of the which I tell you before as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. And before we're so quick to judge each other, let's remember in John 8, the woman caught in adultery. And what did Jesus say to those that wanted to judge her and stone her to death because of her sin? He said in verse 7, So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. Who has no sin? Go ahead. You can judge her and you can put her to death. Nobody threw a stone. But then the story didn't end there. A lot of people forget that Jesus 
spoke to the woman after they had all left and dropped their stones. He lifted, in verse 10 it says, When Jesus had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Hath no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. He said, Go and sin no more. He forgave her, but told her not to sin. And verse 12 says, Then Jesus spake again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Let's not forget 1 John chapter 2, verse 1, which tells us, My little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. Verse 2 goes on to say, And he is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Verse 3, And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. And lastly, in First John chapter 2, verse 15 and 16 and 17, go on to say, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. So to summarize what I'm trying to get at here, None of us are perfect. None of us have the right to judge each other. None of us are saved by our own works. We all need God's grace. We are all that believe saved by God's grace and His grace alone. And we must have faith and our faith will produce works, but that is the work of the Holy Spirit in us doing the work, not us doing the work. The work of the Holy Spirit will produce works, and that will strengthen our faith when we need strengthening. But we all are saved by grace. Glory to God. God bless you all.